In this video, we will learn an easy and quick technique to present your site analysis in less than 10 minutes. Before we start, I want to remind you that I have provided all the images and the fonts that I have used in this video. You can download them for free without any strings attached and follow along with this video. Let's begin. Now let's open the image in Photoshop and we will start by applying a black and white adjustment layer above it. I also added a solid color adjustment layer of black color because I felt the black and white image was having less contrast or for lack of words less dark. I wanted the blacks to be rich in the image. I kept the blending mode as soft light and reduced the opacity to approximately 50%. You can try these options and select the effect that you want for your image. For selecting the colors, you can use colors.co. You will get a ton of options to choose from. You can just copy the color you want by clicking over it. Now I come back to Photoshop and select pen tool and paste the color code in color picker dialog box. I wanted to outline the road and I started to trace the border of the road. Select a stroke width that's appropriate for your scene. You might have to trace over the object that are covering the rule. Don't trace the actual shape of the rule, which are parallel lines. And you must obviously close the shape at last. Then I duplicated the shape and brought it below and renamed it as fill and removed the stroke and filled it with the same color and reduced its opacity. I tried various blending options, but I stuck to normal when recording this video, but later I felt changing it to overlay. This image on the right is the result of that. I think this shows the difference between the road and the highlighted buildings. Let me know in the comments which one do you think works better. Now let's start to highlight the buildings. Select the pen tool and start to trace the buildings that you want to highlight in your presentation. If you notice here, I am keeping the outline in one layer and the fill in another layer. It takes extra 2 seconds to duplicate and create the fill layer separately. But you will have complete control to play with the color, blending mode and opacity of the stroke and fill separately. Now let's start adding some text. I wanted to number the buildings and then make a legend for them. Since both my number and the circle are in white, I added some drop shadow just enough to make the text visible and clear. I made the number and circle into a group. Now I can duplicate the group by clicking Ctrl J and move it anywhere I want. And don't forget to change the numbers after placing them. Then let's move to the legend. Since I don't know anything about these buildings, I just name them as building 1, building 2 and so on. But you can label the buildings in your diagram properly as per your context. I also duplicated these numbers and then placed in the legend. Later I also added a text for road and adjusted its perspective to match with the image. You can insert the actual name of the road in your diagrams. I also added a rounded rectangle as a subtle background for the legend to highlight it even more. You can follow the same technique to do for a plan based diagram also. Remove the colors, highlight the primary axis, highlight the contextual elements, label them. As a final touch, I added noise to both these images to give them a graded film look. If you want to learn more about creating such architectural diagrams, don't forget to subscribe. See you all in the next video.